Hi everyone, Sage from Keeper and welcome back to our channel. Last week, we covered Keeper's Client Properties feature, a simple and efficient way to organize and track all of the key information about your clients. Today, we're gonna to take those learnings even further and explore how to create customized dashboards on Keeper's client list by leveraging those same properties. Now, before we dive in, make sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel so you never miss an update. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below or navigate to the purple widget found in the bottom right corner of our Keeper account and ask us a question. And lastly, check out the description of this video so you can find helpful links covering today's topic. Let's dive in. In our last video, we highlighted how if you navigate to the practice settings, click on the all client settings and select properties in the top right corner, you'll find a list of default properties. Now you can easily add, delete, and reorder or download them right from this page. And we even talked about the different types of properties that you can build, like a service to your drop-down menu to categorize services like bookkeeping, full service, cleanups, or CFO tasks, as well as columns to track specific offerings, such as payroll with a checkbox for yes and no, payroll frequency, or payroll software. Client properties can not only be used to store information, but also as a way to arrange and organize your list of clients and better understand where you stand as a business. Keeper's client list dashboard is highly customizable, and ultimately, you will save customizations you create as views so you can easily access them whenever you want. In fact, we already start you out with one additional view besides the default, which we call the simple view, and you can access this by clicking on the dropdown right over here. Now this is definitely a good one to use, however, you'll see in the next few minutes that there are plenty of other ways for you to make your own versions of the client list based on your unique needs. First way to customize the client list is with filters. So let's walk through a few examples of how you can use filters to streamline your list of clients. Now, if you work with clients that are both monthly and quarterly, you can filter the list based on that client type. Click on the filter icon, you'll see that we already have those filters ready for you by default here. And by the way, if you didn't realize that you could set up clients in Keeper as quarterly, please check out the article linked in the video description to find out more about how to enable that setting. Another popular view I've seen clients create is one that quickly shows them if any of their clients have responded to any of their questions in the portal. If you go back to the filter option and select the any answered option within the question section, you'll have a much easier time identifying which clients have gotten back to you with your answers pertaining to transactions or non-transaction questions. Another example view that you could build out that's super helpful for management is one that shows you all the clients that have the status ready for manager to review. This way, you can easily identify the ones that need a manager's attention. Simply use the filter button within the status column and select ready for manager to review. Now, whenever a client status is moved to this review, you'll be able to focus in to just see them. Filtering for a subset of clients on the client list is one way to simplify your view, but as you probably noticed, even when you do that, the client list can be overwhelming to look at. That's why it's important to take your customizations one step further by selecting which columns you want to view. Now don't worry, you can always add them back if you remove them, and you can have various versions of this client list to come back to depending on what information you want to focus on at that time. The next way to make edits to your dashboard is via the edits column button that you can find right here in the top middle of the page. When you click on it, you're going to find a ton of different options for you to select or deselect, which will all make changes to your client list. You can even see the properties right here that include some of the ones that we've added as well as the defaults. So if I want to add service tier, client industry, and entity type, which are all examples of properties that I've built out, you'll see that it changes your main dashboard and I can now interact with them as needed. Now that we've learned two ways to customize and simplify the client list by using various filters to streamline which clients appear in our list and by adding or removing specific columns to highlight the most relevant information, the final and most crucial step here is to then save those customizations by creating a saved view. So let's go through a live example together. So what I'm going to do is create a view for managers to be able to get a bird's eye view of all the clients that are specifically in the ready for manager to review status. So I'm going to select that status. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to edit the columns and clear up a lot of the space on my dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect the communication columns and then I'm going to scroll down to my non-closing tasks. I'm going to unselect that and I'm going to unselect my closing tasks and I'm just going to add a close progress bar instead. So now we can see a much simpler view. I'm then going to save it as a new view. And I have the option to make it private. So if I toggle on the private button, only I will be able to see it. But if it's unselected, that means my entire team can see it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so my entire team cannot see it and it's private. And I'm going to call this my manager review. I'm going to save it. And now I see that there's an option for me to toggle between my different views. So let's say that as I am working through my clothes, different tasks are getting marked off from my different team members. As a manager, I can see that view of how far along we are at any point in time and just the key pieces of information that matter most to me. Keeper's client list customization capabilities transform how you manage your practice. Through specialized filters and column customization, you can create a tailored view that really aligns perfectly with your workflow needs. Now, whether it's tracking service tiers, monitoring client responses, or managing different review statuses, these customized dashboards enable you and your team to focus on what matters most at any given moment. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a like and subscribe so you can stay up to date on all future releases. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section below or navigate to the purple widget in the bottom right corner and send us a message. And lastly, check out the description of this video for helpful links and resources covering today's topic. Can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Bye.